All right, Robert, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Are you, you're from the area, right? You're from Detroit? Yes, I'm a uh, local filmmaker out of Detroit, and uh, I went to film school at the Motion Picture Institute of Michigan, based in Troy, graduated in 2008, and since then I've uh, wrote, produced, and directed six short films that have all been uh, exhibited at film festivals around the country, and uh, currently in post-production on one right now titled The uh, Spirit of Isabel. Spirit of Isabel, well, that sounds great. Six films in two years. Yes. Can you tell us um, about your project, which you're working on right now? Yes, The uh, Spirit of Isabel stars a uh, local actress, uh, Aphrodite Nikolovsky, who's terrific to work with. Um, at any rate, the film's about, uh, takes place in Detroit. It's about the, uh, you know, the collapsed economy here. And it's about a struggling woman who's uh, attempting to you know, pay her rent, she's facing an eviction, she's uh, very tormented, and she uh, turns to prostitution to uh, help her finances, and uh, at the same time, she's trying to uh, find hope and redemption in this uh, city indicative of a world going, growing smaller, so. You wear a lot of hats. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the film festival that you're the head of? Which, which yeah, film festival? That's correct, I'm the uh, executive director of the Detroit Independent Film Festival. It's a film festival held each year at the Burton Theater and at the Wayne State campus. And um, basically it's held in March and we want to promote the independent filmmaker. We really put a lot of focus on the uh, Michigan film community as well. We did the uh, Michigan Film Awards earlier this year and we handed out over 20 awards including cinematography and acting and editing awards as well. Are you planning to continue to do short films or do you have something else in the works? Uh, yes, I'm going to keep going. Um, my next step is to start uh, taking these short films and uh, expanding them into longer narratives. I want to write uh, my short film that I did titled Solitude. I want to write that into a feature. I'm going to start uh, working on that next. And also The Spirit of Isabel is a big story in that little short too. And uh, both of those, I'm going to start writing those and turning them into features. And I'll use these shorts to, to show to potential investors to try to raise some money. What kind of advice can you give to filmmakers? Uh, basically just to keep working hard. You know, this is definitely, uh, as the cliche goes, it's a tough business, but, uh, you know, just keep creating, you know, keep um, making, you know, films, start doing shorts if you're a filmmaker and get comfortable, you know, hone, hone your craft, you know, uh, practice uh, will eventually lead to perfection the more and more you do, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just don't give up and keep striving and uh, if you're not satisfied, just strive for better. And if someone wants to submit a film to your film festival, what are some of the things that they can focus on to be accepted in a film festival? Yeah, basically what we're looking for at our film festival and what other film festivals are looking for is uh, story. Uh, you definitely want to have a, a, a film that has a really engaging story that's provocative, moving, absorbing. Um, and then secondly is acting. Yeah, acting is uh, crucial for any film. It will take your film a, a long way. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, for filmmakers out there, go to as many film festivals as possible, uh, see who's in those movies, um, contact agencies, hold out uh, auditions, find out where those good actors are. And uh, third most important thing is sound. Uh, bad audio will destroy uh, projects. I've seen really good films with good stories and good acting, and sadly they suffered from uh, poor audio. Mm. So those are the three most important factors. Thanks Robert so much for coming no to Thanks. interview with us here. Thank you for having we me. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you.